We're back. The Checkered Flag Report on Bear Country 95.3. Checkered Flag Report is your local racing show here at Bear Country 95.3 during the racing season. Our show's wrapping up today. We've been mirroring the uh, schedule over at Monadnock. Of course, uh, they went a little bit uh, longer this year with a couple of rainouts. Today is their Super Saturday. And we would like to uh, thank those who have supported the Checkered Flag Report all season long. This includes Trader John's Gun Shop in Winchester. If you're heading to Monadnock to go see the race, coming up from the Massachusetts area especially, Trader John's Gun Shop right on the uh, right uh, left-hand side, actually, of Route 10 as you are heading towards the track. Over uh, at Monadnock in the Lightning Stock Division, Craig Chafee is in the points lead, hanging into the last race. Chip, have we ever talked to Craig before? I don't believe we have. Okay. Uh, do, what do we know about Craig? Uh, I Nothing. know I know. Craig drives a black car number 28. Hey, Craig, <laughs> is that true? Black car 28? Yes, sir. That's true. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the uh, Checkered Flag Report here at uh, Bear Country 95.3. Uh, first of all, congratulations on what seems to be a pretty darn successful year. Thank you very much. Now, tell me about, uh, give us a little synopsis of the year for those who haven't been going to Monadnock every single, uh, every single race. Uh, what's the year been like? Uh, obviously, you're in first place in points, but, you know, you have your ups and downs, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. I, uh, I had started out real strong, uh, much like I did last year, and uh, probably middle of the season, just like last year, started having issues. <laughs> um, I actually had my steering let go uh, during a race coming that's, off turn two. That's tough. Yeah, it was it was kind of a hairy situation, but yeah. I managed to save the car and and uh, got that all fixed, and she was back. So, uh, Craig, going into the the last race seems like forever now. What a couple weeks ago, um, you were four points behind, and now you're in the point lead. Yeah, yeah. I looking at the lineup for that race, I never thought I was going to be able to come out of that with a points lead. Um, I started last. Uh, once you, once you win a race in my division, you have to start in the rear. Uh-huh. Um, Kind of levels it out, you know, makes it fair for everybody. And and uh, the guy who I'm chasing, he starts third, and I'm like, yeah, this isn't going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the cautions just happen to fall just right, and it, it worked out really well. What, did you cause the caution in any way? I didn't. I oh. went through the. I went through 16, 17 cars, however many I passed, didn't touch one. So <laughs> oh, good move. <laughs> That's that a good night. Self-induced. Because uh, that was a battle with the. Uh, uh, the Hull brothers and yeah, yeah, uh, Dick Hull. Uh, he's he's been a great help, and and I gotta give a huge shout out to him. Um, he's anytime I've had it, he runs the same kind of car I do, and uh, what is anytime it? I've had an issue with the car, he's one of the first ones over there to see if he can help diagnose it and and uh, see if he can help figure out the problem. So I and I, I did have a problem with the with the uh, distributor this year, and and he knew right what it was as soon as I mentioned to him what the car was doing. He says, yeah, he'd check this, and sure enough. Yeah, it was, that's what it was. So. What is the car? It's a Honda Civic DX. Honda Civic seems to be a popular choice <laughs> up there. Yeah, it mm-hmm. handles. I mean, it just handles. It goes through the corner so good. It's, oh, okay. Well, and now, so is, is this your first year in the in the Lightning Stocks, Craig? T- tell oh, us gosh, about. Oh gosh, no. I I started running back in '99. Uh, was my first season. I ran uh, back then. It was the Enduros, and then I moved up to the Mini Stocks. Ran those for a couple of years. Uh, Got out of racing for quite a few years and then uh, decided to jump back in it three, four years ago. I actually started out running a friend of mine's car, uh, C.J. Johnson, who has been a huge help this year. Um, the last couple of years, I mean, just every time I break the car, he puts it back to where it was. They're pretty darn close to it. So I <laughs> kind of, you know, between him and, and guys like uh, Tim Pocket, who uh, who's also helped me out, I mean, it just, the guys I run with, they're a great bunch of guys. I mean, always willing to help each other, and, and it's pretty neat. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, one of, I'm one of those guys in the stands. I don't necessarily stick around for the lightning stocks and the thunderstock race, so, so, so please don't, don't say anything bad about me, uh, Craig, because I'm trying to learn a little bit more uh, about, the, uh, about the division. You said um, you, you went up to mini stocks, and then you, you, you took a break, but you didn't, when you came back, you didn't come back into mini stocks. Why is that? No, it's just... It's, Basically, what we're running is is uh, kind of close, but uh, we we run stock tires. Uh, we don't have to run race fuel. Mm-hmm. Um, we're not mandatory to have a cage, but a lot of the cars do. I mean, I I won't go back out there without one. I mm-hmm. mean, that's I did that once, and that was a bad <laughs> idea. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of like a mini stock, just a little less involved, and 
a lot cheaper to run. So. Oh, definitely. Uh, and no chance of you moving up next year? I don't think so. Chips, um, Chips division. I, I'm having a blast with these guys. I don't. If I come back, I'm going to come back with these guys. I mean, they just it's it's like a big family, and uh, you know, I got, I got a lot of respect for everybody out there that I run with. I mean, I can't tell you how many times we went green to checkered this year. No, no instant, you know, no crashes, no nothing. I mean, it's just one of the cleanest divisions, and and you wouldn't think so. I mean, <laughs> it really is. I mean, yeah, don't go by the dents. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, they they really show each other a lot of respect out there, and it's a great bunch of guys to run with. So. It's too bad a whole bunch of you didn't come up because some of the other divisions could sure use some cars, and that and that would really make for some great racing in the full body uh, deal with the the big V eights. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Well, they actually had quite a quite a uh, big turnaround this year um, when they they opened up the rules a little bit and allowed the uh, allowed the old street stocks to come in as as thunder stocks, and and that really did bring a lot of cars back um, because people had the cars kicking around. And uh, so it was really good to see that division start. It, it's going to take a little while, but it'll start growing to to be in a pretty decent sized field, I think. Well, let's hope so. Um, Craig, who helped you out on the car as far as sponsorship and stuff this year? Um, well, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Ideal Ride Taxi Company here in Keene, New Hampshire, and um, my place, Deli and Market, and uh, give a shout out to Arms for Kids. It's a it's a great charity. Uh, they do a lot with uh, cancer kids and and uh, stuff like that. So, very good, Craig. Uh, you call Keen Home, correct? Yes, sir. Craig Chafee calls Keen Home. He drives the uh, number twenty-eight car in the Lightning stocks. I'm told it's a black Honda. That's correct. Where'd you get the number? Any? any? Uh, actually, the number is kind of a cool story. Um, when I had gotten out of racing uh, a while back, um, I had. Moved back to Keene and, and went through a divorce and the whole nine. And uh, buddy uh, CJ actually said, hey, you can run my car, you know, my backup car. I said, all right. And so I'll just throw a number on the door, you know. And he's like, well, what number do you want to be? And I said, I don't know, surprise me. Well, the two came from my very first car I ever had. Um, I was the two because Russ Hersey, I was working on his pro stock at the time. And uh, he had some extra twos laying around, so. <laughs> well, that, that, well, that, that's that's a, economical, isn't it? Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> My first mini stock was number eight, and uh, so Scott Hat, buddy of mine, decided, well, tell you what, we'll put them together, and that's how he came up with the 28. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> well, we'll see uh, how the 28 does tonight uh, over at Monadnock. Craig, thanks for joining us this morning on the Checkered Flag Report. No problem. Great talking with you guys. The Checkered Flag Report on Bear Country 95.3.